what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a nice and beautiful question on the board that says find the value of x raised to the power of x to the power of 4 and this is equal to 64 and we're told to find the value of x so how do we do that well our first step would be for us to raise both sides to the power of 4 so I have on the left x to the power of x to the power of 4. I'm going to be raising the left to the power of 4 equal to, I'll do the same thing on the right, I raise 64 to the power of 4. Now on the left hand side, I'm going to be applying the law of indices that says when I have a raised to the power of m and this is also raised to the power of n. The law of indices says take the base, which is A, and multiply the powers. So M times N, which gives A to the power of M times N is Mn. Now let's multiply these powers. So we have X to the power of, now I'm going to be multiplying the powers. This will be X to the power of 4 times 4. And this is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now simplifying further, we have x to the power of x to the power of 4 times 4 is 4x to the power of 4. And this is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now there is a way we can write this expression, which is this expression can be written as x to the power of 4 or raised to the power of x to the power of 4, right? Because both powers multiply according to the law of indices. And this is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, our next step will be for us to simplify the right hand side so we have x to the power of 4 raised to the x to the power of 4 to be equal to 64 is same as 8 squared and this is raised to the power of 4 now simplifying further x to the power of 4 or raised to the power of x to the power of 4 will be equal to 8 now let's multiply these two powers. 2 times 4 is 8. Now notice something by comparison. That the base here and the exponents are the same. Same thing goes to the right hand side. The base here and the exponents are the same. Which means that x to the power of 4 must be equal to 8. And to get a value of x... I'll have to take the fourth root of both sides. So I'll take the fourth root of x to the power of 4. And I'll also take the fourth root of the right hand side. But I'm going to be putting plus or minus since the exponent is an even number. So this will be the fourth root of it. Now the fourth root cancels out the power of 4 leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus the fourth root of it and this is our final answer well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos like i always say until next time take care